Lego The Lord of the Rings is the best. My favorite Lego theme ever. And today I'm gonna try to design 20 of the most iconic scenes from the Fellowship of the Ring. Let's go. Lego basically made multiple locations, but they missed many. So I need to recreate these myself. I started by diving into my memory for suggestions. And after writing down all locations, I could start designing. So let's build. First of all, we're gonna visit the prologue and more specifically the scene where we see Sauron holding the one ring of power. For this, I made some lava using these two by two red translucent pieces and also built a bunch of rock work in about an hour. The doorway looks quite natural from both sides, but I should practice my snot techniques. Now it's time to add the Sauron minifigure, but there isn't one. So I grabbed these epic custom parts from Raven Blocks and built the ultimate Sauron minifigure. This Hobie doesn't drop the ring into Mount Doom. Now that this build is complete, we can move on to the next one. One of the most nostalgic scenes is probably Gandalf arrives. And since Lego already made this, I will design an upgrade for this set. So I started by grabbing some base plates. I wanted to include both the scene where Frodo is reading and where he tells Gandalf out that he's late. So I created this hill-like structure with some green slopes and started working on the tree. I wanted to use a lot of greenery to decorate this scene, so me and my girlfriend went to the Lego store for pick a brick and got many pieces. Now I was finally able to add leaves to the tree, which makes it look a lot more natural, and I also added all these grass pieces to the build. I added Gandalf's chariot and also grabbed the 2012 Shire Frodo, but chopped off his legs and gave him new ones. And here's the entire scene. And here's a better look at Gandalf arriving and Frodo sitting against the tree reading his book. Later that evening, Bilbo's birthday party takes place and I also wanted to build this since Lego never made it. The most iconic scene by far has to be when Merry and Pippin light the firework inside the tent and get caught by Gandalf. So I started building the tent and added lots of details such as the red fabric of the tent, some barrels, and a table to the left of the hobbits. Then I added them lighting the fireworks and now the scene is complete. Finally, I set up Merry and Pippin doing the dishes. I think this is gonna take a while, boys and girls. Next up, Bilbo pulls a prank on every everyone and goes home to grab his things and leave. So for this scene, I built a small part of Bag Ant with a fireplace and some other details. I had to rebuild this entire scene like three times, but this is the best I could do with my small part collection. So let's add the minifigs. Here's old Bilbo holding the one ring and Gandalf handing him an envelope to keep it safe. There's some old maps of Bilbo's adventures in the red book, as well as two chairs, some books, and two lovely portraits, which are really accurate to the movie. I chose this particular scene because I can also recreate the scene where Gandalf turns Sam into a frog. Now, our beloved hobbits, Sam and Frodo, are on the way to Rivendell, and what's a better scene to recreate than Sam going outside of his comfort zone? So I built a cornfield with this interesting design, and also used a ton of grass pieces, like a ton. Then suddenly, Merry and Pippin appear, and the hobbits run from Farber Maggot, who wants his stolen carrots back. I have a feeling Merry and Pippin really like carrots. So the hobbits escape, but they have to hide for the Nazgul. So I built this little hiding spot under the root of a tree and added many small details, such as these mushrooms and a stinky mess which Pippin almost fell into. Also built a big tree with lots of leaf pieces, which make it look incredible. Now it's time to add Frodo holding the one ring of power, Sam being concerned for him, and Merry and Pippin looking at their prize, some mushrooms. I also wanted to add this spider and some snakes, because we can see a lot of creepy insects in the movie, which are just really chilling. Let's hope they don't crawl into our our bets tonight. The Nazgul can't find the hobbits, but then one rider appears out of nowhere, so they escape and make their way to Buckleberry Ferry. For this scene, I used an instruction by Lego Mocklock, so I built this entire instruction and set up all the minifigures. We can see Sam, Pippin, and Merry on the raft, and Frodo making his way out. But watch out, the Nazgul is behind him. Luckily, he made it. The hobbits travel debris, and since Lego never made a set for this location, I wanted to give it some justice. So with the few brown pieces I have, I set out to create a particular scene. I built a room and designed some beds in different colors. Then I simply added them to the room, but there's something missing. I added the Nazgul with their swords and now the bloodbath can begin. Fortunately for them, the hobbits and Strider outsmarted them and already escaped and are in the swamp nearby. I built a small swamp area with lots of grass pieces and some water made with the dark blue plates. There's also some leaf pieces on the ground and I just had to create the scene where Pippin is talking about second breakfast. After their long journey and no second breakfast, the hobbits are hungry and need some rest. So they went to Weathertop and discovered this hillside which I built. I created some rock work and also some nice landscaping with a couple of wedge plates and some 1x1 one one plates as well as a couple of tiles. I also got some food, a bag, a campfire and finally I wanted to build a tomato. So I grabbed this 1x1 one one red stud and there's a tomato. Here's all the hobbits having fun until Frodo wakes up and ruins the entire party. Unfortunately the Nazgul discovered this and Frodo gets 
gets wounded. So Arwen takes him to Rivendell, but on their way, she has to get rid of the Nazgul. So I built this little river, which isn't really that good looking, but added some Nazgul on one side and Arwen on the other. We all know what happens here, guys. Then Frodo wakes up in Rivendell, and even though LEGO has finally created this scene in LEGO, I need to build it myself. So I built this entire room and thought it was finished, but then I remembered I wanted to add a floor pattern. So I destroyed the entire room, added the floor pattern, and rebuilt it, and here's Frodo Awakened. Gandalf is sitting in his chair, and Lord Elrond is here to greet Frodo, and to top it off, I created this statue behind the build, which you can see in the movie. Even though LEGO already has this as a sticker, I wanted to create this myself. Next up, I'm going to show you some scenes with the new Rivendell set. You can set up Frodo reuniting with Bilbo, the scene where Elrond tells Gandalf about the fate of the ring, Boromir and Aragorn meeting at the Shards of Narsil, Arwen choosing a mortal life, the Council of Elrond with some hobbits eavesdropping, and finally Bilbo's gifts. But there's one scene missing, which I'm gonna recreate in LEGO right now. It's where Frodo asks Gandalf if Mordor is left or right. So I built this wolf piece and added many leaf pieces to the front and back, and also made sure to add some greenery. Now we can fully enjoy the scene in LEGO, and the Fellowship of the Ring is officially on their way to Mordor. The Fellowship also has to rest a bit and train as well. So I wanted to build this funny scene where Merry Pippin, Aragorn, and Boromir fight with each other. So I simply built this small landscape with some rock work, using the light bluish gray slopes and some Plates. And I set up both hobbits attacking Boromir and Aragorn has no idea what he's in for. So here's the two hobbits attacking Boromir and Aragorn trying to help. This scene makes me laugh every time I watch the movie, so I just had to build it. The Fellowship moves to the Paws of Karadras, and I built a snowy mountainside with lots of wide slopes. But after finishing it, I noticed the pass is quite narrow, so I hope the minifigures don't fall off that easily. Saruman uses his sorcery and then suddenly hits the Fellowship with a bit of snow. The Fellowship arrives at the Moon Doors of Moria, and for this I built a bit of rock work with a functioning door as well as two trees. I didn't have any more brown pieces, so unfortunately I had to destroy my Attack of the Works set from the hobbit i set up a couple of minifigures as well as gandalf trying to figure out how the door will open we can see aragorn and sam saying goodbye to the horse bill mary and pippin throwing some rocks in the water and looking at this entire scene i think it's totally worth it to destroy my attack of the work set the fellowship enters balin's tomb but gets surprised by an army of moria orcs and they have a cave troll after this intense battle the fellowship barely escapes but gets surrounded by an army of moria orcs so naturally as an army builder i wanted to recreate this scene in lego so I started by building a massive foundation and built four pillars, which are modular, so I can easily add them or remove them from the build. And I made sure to add studs on the sides of the pillars, and these function as places where I can add orcs in order to portray them crawling from the ceiling, which you can see in the movie. So first of all, in the middle of the mock, I set up the entire Fellowship of the Ring, and now it's time to add some orcs. I made this archer, got a breastplate for this orc, and used a couple of different weapons. Then I added all the orcs to the pillars, and also set up this army surrounding the Fellowship. By adding all of these minifigures, the mock looks way cooler. We can see the Fellowship of the Ring in the middle defending itself, as well as lots of orcs coming down from the pillars and surrounding the fellowship and i also love the fact that i added so many different weapons to the army there's even this orc with the crazy eyes i love this minifigure and i think overall this scene looks really cool and this is my biggest build so far in this video then the fellowship runs to the bridge of kaza doom and gandalf defeats the belrog after saying the most famous line in history you shall not pass for this scene i built part of the bridge but i couldn't build the belrog because i didn't have enough time i also added this grip piece where gandalf can have from the broken bridge before he falls into the abyss. On the other side, I added some members of the Fellowship escaping the mines of Moria, and for this, I built a staircase and tiled the entire area off. There's also some rock work, but frankly, it's not my best. Next up, the Fellowship travels to the woods of Lothlorien, and since I'm running out of pieces, I wanted to create a small scene, and in particular, a scene which I think LEGO should have made as a set. The Mirror of Galadriel. So I built some landscaping and added the mirror, and I was really proud of the build, but then I discovered the landscape exists out of grass and not rock work. Oh man. So I rebuilt this entire scene and now it's complete. I also added this weird piece to look like a branch from a tree. It just doesn't look good enough. So I grabbed this piece from the new Rivendell set and added it to my build and it already looks way better. Now Frodo can look into the mirror and see the Shire burning. 
For the final scene of the Fellowship of the Ring, I want to make the breaking of the Fellowship and in particular Boromir's death. So for this, I'm going to need a custom Lurts minifigure since LEGO only made this naked guy. So I beheaded him before Aragorn could and gave him a new torso and legs. Then I built this entire plane with lots of different plates in green, brown and some other different tan colors and added lots of green grass pieces as well as a couple of leaf pieces on the ground to add that nice detailed look. I also wanted to build a tree, but I didn't have enough brown pieces, so I creatively tried to build a tree and I'm quite happy with how it looks, although the leaves hide a bad design underneath. I grabbed some of my uruk high and removed their breastplates. Then I wanted to add some different weapons, so I added an axe to one to portray the scene where you can see an uruk high running towards Merry and Pippin, and I also added a lot of swords to the ones attacking Boromir. So I started by setting up Boromir and added Merry and Pippin throwing some rocks towards the uruk high, just like in the movie. Here are some uruk High soldiers running towards Boromir, and I also wanted to make it seem as if he killed multiple Uruk High already, so I put some dead ones on the ground. There's quite a small army on the base plate, and even though I have over 200 Uruk High minifigures, I want to keep this as small as possible so we can still enjoy the build. To top it off, I added Lurch firing three arrows at Boromir. I just find this scene so emotional and wanted to pay tribute to this legend. Merry and Pippin are left defenseless and get taken by the Uruk High. Their story will continue soon. Then Lurch stands in front of Boromir ready to finish him, but luckily Aragorn saves the day and fights the Uruk High. The battle is intense, but Aragorn wins, and now it's time to say farewell to a brother. I wanted to set up the scene where they say goodbye to Boromir, so I added him laying against a tree with his sword on his chest. I also added Aragorn holding him, and Legolas and Gimli at a little distance, just like in the movie. And we all know what Denethor would say. My line is ended. So these were all the scenes of the Fellowship of the Ring I wanted to build in LEGO, and I hope you enjoyed watching this three hour movie in a 10 minute lego video i tried to capture my favorite scenes from the movie and if you want to see some behind the scenes footage on how i made these scenes sign up for memberships on my channel and you'll get to see exclusive content on how i made these locations in lego frodo and sam are ready to travel to mordor but i guess now it's time for a different story so i'll see you in part two of this video